Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. It means a lot. In today's video, guys, we'll be working on a Ford Focus, guys. And if you have a Ford Focus and you have any of the following, guys, four codes, I'm talking about code 351, 352, 353, or code 354, right there in the description, uh, in the corner of the video, guys. Check it out. Uh, if you have any of those codes, we'll explain what needs to be done to fix that code and fix your car on your own, guys, so you don't have to uh, pay somebody else to do it. Now, quick introduction to the channel. We have more than 200 videos on this Ford Focus and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So let's go ahead and show you what you need to do to fix that problem now. So all the parts and tools that we use to fix that problem, guys, you can find the links in the description of the video. This is the scanner that we're using. Very good scanner for the price, guys. It can tell you quite a few things and uh, definitely something that I always keep in my vehicle. That way, guys, something goes wrong. I can always figure it out on the road. Now. Uh, right next to the steering wheel, right here on your Ford Focus, guys, if you have a third generation Ford Focus, you have that cover. If you have a, another generation Ford Focus, uh, you have an OBD connector under the dash somewhere. So find it and connect it now, guys. I'm going to go inside now. Okay, and let me actually go ahead and close the door. Because if I turn the ignition on, we will hear that dinging, which is very annoying. Now, if I start the car, guys, you will notice that the car misfires. Okay. Engine light is on, engine light is on, check it out. And the car guys uh, misfires terribly, okay, especially after it warms up, it misfires bad. So let me show you. Listen now. So it sounds like one of the cylinders guys is not working correctly, okay, and when it idles, it actually will shake the camera that's how bad it is okay you can see the steering wheel everything shaking so i'll go ahead turn it off turn the ignition back on scanner is already connected so what we're going to do now we're going to click obd here it's communicating now establishing connection guys it will tell us here a little bit of information now and it will tell us that we have uh, codes found one we click enter. You can give you two modules here, guys, for your Ford Focus. Check both of them for codes. Uh, usually ours are under the second one, the one with eight towards the end. But check the other one too. We click read codes now. Okay, after we click read codes. Okay, we, it gives us the option stored codes, pending codes, check both of them. Why? Because sometimes the information will be under stored codes, sometimes it will be under pending. Pending means that the code's been there, but it's not long enough to trigger the engine light and will go in the permanent uh, memory of the computer. So we click stored codes and the code that we have, 353, ignition code C, primary secondary circuit. So. The last digit of the code, guys, indicates, okay, you can see 353, the last digit, guys, indicates that we have a problem with cylinder number 3, or ignition code C means cylinder, uh, ignition code number 3, because they go A, B, C, or cylinder 1, 2, 3, it's equivalent, they use that, uh, uh, that numbering system. I go back, and I'll check pending codes. You may get a misfire code here if you drove the car for a while, such as uh, 303 or 301, uh, 302, 303, 304, guys. It really depends. So we have only one code. I'll go ahead, turn the car off now, guys, and I'll explain what needs to be done actually, okay, to fix that problem now. So when you open the hood of your Ford Focus, guys, doesn't matter which engine you have, we're showing here on the 2.0, but if you have a 1.0 three-cylinder or a 1.6, anything like that, guys, procedure will be the same. On top of your engine, you'll find your ignition coils. Under the ignition coils, you'll find your spark plugs. Ignition coils is the one that gives spark to the plugs, guys. Now, on four-cylinder engine, you have four coils. On three-cylinder engine, you're going to have three coils. Okay, it'll look like that, shorter. Now, uh, the last digit of the code corresponds to the cylinder number. So, you always start from the left side of the engine where the belts are and you have cylinder 1, 2, 3. So, it, we indicate that we have a problem with uh, ignition coil on cylinder number 3, guys. So, all we have to do now, okay, go ahead, disconnect it, check your wiring harness to make sure it's not loose. Sometimes that can trigger the light as well. 
We just need to remove that board with 8 mm and replace the coil. Super simple. We have a complete video on the channel that explains how to replace coils and spark plugs, spark plug gap and all that guys. So make sure you check it out, it's a very helpful video. Now, uh, uh, we'll go ahead and replace ours. If you need to buy new coils, we'll have the link in the description of the video below and see if that will fix our problem now. So we replace the coil guys, we're ready to go inside now. Okay, and see if the car will misfire, if it will clear the coal and all that stuff and we'll get rid of it. So that way we can fix our problem. If one coal went bad guys, I recommend to get the whole set, replace it and keep the other ones for spares, at least one or two in your vehicles. So we go back and we're going to click erase code. Are you sure? Erase them. So if I start the car now, Okay, check it out now. Car is definitely running smooth, guys. I don't know there's any misfire. When it idles, it idles smooth as well. So that definitely takes care of the problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.